Hi everybody, this is Mackerel Phones. Today I'm playing Endroll. This is one of those freeware Japanese RPG Maker games. I know that this one exists because Manly Badass Hero did a playthrough of it. Of course, I didn't watch his playthrough because I'm not going to have it all be spoiled for me, but I feel I should give credit where credit's due. Also, on his website, the person who translated this game into English emphasized over and over that it should be considered rated 15 plus and that any Let's Play ought to know this about it. So, just letting you know. Without further ado, let's get started. Hey kid, get walking. Boy, honestly. A private room for a kid like you. That's a real luxury, buddy. Alright, we're here. You're gonna live here starting today. Hey, buddy. You know what they call this? Karma. Considering the stuff you did. Can't really object to the experiment, huh? Yeah, well. Good luck in there and all. So long, you crazy bastard. Good morning, deranged maniac. How do you like this room? Is it not embarrassing for you to live in such comfort? Now then, you must now inject Happy Dream. Has a powerful sleeping effect. Amazingly, after the injection, you will experience the happy dream phenomenon. As the name implies, you will have a perfectly happy dream. Why? You scarcely even deserve to use such a great, happy, wonderful medicine. You will administer it once per day. So please, enjoy your day. That's all for now. So, let's happy dream! Oh, is, are we happy dreaming? Um... Is this it? Okay. What button do I press to... There we go. Syringe with medicine. Should I inject it? Oh, is, that's, that's us. We look like a girl. Yeah, I think we have to. Well, assume we can't get out. Wait, what? Oh, whoa, excuse me one moment. Eh, <laughs> sorry to startle you. You're Russell, yes? My name's Faria, from Dream Send Guidance Incorporated. It's good to meet you. It's my job to support you here in this happy dream. So, hi! Oh? Well, I'm here, but I don't know what I should do. Not to worry! That's what everyone says at first. That's what a dream send guidance is for. Here in this dream, you are a new inhabitant who just moved in today, you see. Which means today you should go greet the people around town. Yeah, that'd be nice. I still have things to do, so you just do your thing, okay? Well, see ya, Russell. Have a good dream. Bye. Okay. Oh, this is our... dream neighborhood, huh? Probably beats whatever horrible things are going on in reality. We don't have any mail, probably because we just moved in. Oh, well. Let's see who, who our other neighbor is. Oh, our neighbor is a balloon. And another post box. Hello, balloon. What? He's 14 years old, huh? Oh, okay. Thanks for the update, balloon. Nice to know that I'm Russell. Uh, probably some security mechanism so people won't go stealing their mail. Okay. 
I thought this was a RPG style game, but maybe it's an adventure game. Or maybe it has elements of but well should I don't know. Should we go in here or should we we'll go up here? We'll follow a cobblestone road. Everything okay, everything has the arrow signs. Let's see what's in the green roof building. Say, those are some fellows you have in the behind the bars there. Who, who are they, uh, Miss uh, Question Marks? Hey, you're a new face. When do you get here? Huh. So you just came today. Well, pretty good place, right? I'm Tabasa. I take in and raise a bunch of the animals living near town. Feeling restless in the new place? I can tell you all sorts of stuff, so don't hesitate to ask a thing. Oh, thank you. Tabasa? These animals are disturbing me a bit. Can we look at them? The things inside the cell are looking at me and muttering something. Yeah, I'll send it. Don't stare, please. I'm making love with my wife. Oh. Oh, I, I'm sorry, animals. I, I didn't mean to do that. See, your, um... What is that called? Doggy-style position? Makes sense, because they're like animals. What is this? Is this a lamp? Is it... I think it's a lamp. I like this art style. Very bright and colorful. Has a nice cartoony quality to it. And I mean, I know our RPG Maker games always do, but sometimes they look really ugly. Hey, what's up? You lost or anything? Yeah, this one. Hmm? Just regular old animals. You never seen them before, maybe. Huh, well, if you're interested, want to help me take care of them? Or, heck, go out into the forest. It, well, it's your first day here, so maybe that'd be a little much. Good luck with the introductions. Yeah, introductions can be awkward. This is very nice. I'm sure some really terrible things will happen later, though, since the translator made such a big deal about how this game was not for anyone under under 15. Maybe not for anyone under 18, he, he even seemed to emphasize, or she. I, sh I shouldn't be making these assumptions. Let's go into the Strawberry Shortcake house. Oh, it's the Strawberry Shortcake Zoology Lab. I see they've dissected a Strawberry man? Or is it a tomato? Eh, probably tomato. Who are you? What are you here for? New resident, huh? No wonder I've never seen you. My name's Cody. I harvest and sell the plants that grow around this town. If there is anything you need, you can come by and I'll sell it. But if you want to buy, you better bring walnuts. I won't give out any freebies. I like walnuts, too. These plants seem kind of, uh... visceral. But... You know, they're just... There's plants. Edamem... E edamamai. That's funny. I wonder what it said in the original Japanese script. Homeward Rudy. Oh, they're out of them? That's a shame, I could, I would love some. So you were in the shop here. Do I have any walnuts now? Uh, yeah, about the goods. Yeah, all the jars laid out are stuff I harvested from a place called Dozing Forest. Such as, for example, safe tree branches or rooties, widely used for medicine, for food. Probably stuff you've got no familiarity with at all, huh? Well, you'll get used to it. Yeah, people can get used to anything. Impressive in its way. We, yeah, here, here we are. So there are we have 30 HP. We're level one, and I see that our status is normal, and we have, we have zero walnuts. How do I save? Do I end my roll? We have any items? No, we have no items. Oh, we have diary. Oh, I see. We're keeping a dream diary. So it's you, Mayniki. Cool beans. Or... Incongruously cute living vegetables that are 
put in an incongruously gory strawberry shortcake house. Okay. Can we talk to them? I hope not. Some unknown vegetable is buried in the ground. Okay, we can not talk to them. That's good. If they were intelligent, this would suddenly have become horrifying. Okay. So if this is our dream, why don't people know us? I don't have to introduce myself to people in my dreams. But everyone is different. I don't know, don't ask me, Russell. Oh, hi. Ah, do I see a new resident? Well met, young one. You may call me Cantera. I work in the selling of medicines. It's a pleasure, it is. Medicines, though they are, they are not especially powerful. It's what you'd call herbal medicine. Merely remedies to treat minor issues, like chilliness or rough skin. No, it's really nothing much. But should you need such things, you may summon for me any time. I shall try to provide my aid. Well, thanks, Cantera. Oh, I see you have some of that uh, edamamai. Some of that edamamai. Yeah. Unknown herbs in various bottles. They probably smell like herbs. I mean, a lot of herbs have very strong smells. I personally don't like them very much. But berries would have a kind of a sweet smell. That makes sense. What's this say? Ads for herbal medicine, huh? Is it Chinese-style herbal medicine? Is this a tea? Is this a setup for tea? Probably. For herbal teas, I'm sure. Ah, tis you. What of it? I feel like this might be a bit on the nose, but I might as well ask her. Hmm? Ah, uh, well, because... Simply a habit of sorts, yes. I have always been beyond my years, in a sense. All things my grandfather did seem to me rather cool, so in imitating his speech I have become rather tainted by it. Consider it a kind of accent. It was, too, my grandfather who taught me the ways of medicine. Never can I fully express my thanks. Okay. Uh, yeah, she had a good relationship with her grandfather. We'll go to the bean-shaped house. I swear, everyone here... What cute girl are we gonna meet next? This one, apparently. Hello, miss. Huh? Someone I don't know! Hello there! I'm Gardenia. I'm 14 and I love to cook. Let's get along! From what I can tell, you're about my age too, right? Will you be friends with me? Yeah, sure, you seem nice enough. Wow, really? I'm so glad! I've never had a friend my age! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah! Once you're used to town, you should come try my cooking. I'll do my very best for my friend. When I was 14, I don't know that I ever really had friends or my age. I, I don't really remember very clearly though. I don't really remember clearly what ages I had at different points. No, they have more. I see she cooks using all of these visceral herbs. Yeah, edam edamamai, edamamai. There is edamamais everywhere. Now, I shouldn't go through a fridge. That'd, that'd just be rude. Very disrespectful. So she lives in the bean house. And we eat her vegetables. Can we go this way? Nah, there's an invisible wall. But unless we take the sidewalk. Oh! An outdoor person. Right next to this very avant-garde building. Hello, outdoor person. Hey, kid. Hold up a sec. Ain't seen you around these parts. Where are you from? If I don't like your answer. Just kidding. I've been hearing about you. Nice to meet you. The name's Yumi. I'm the town's... Well, I guess you might call me the resident police. I do this and that to keep the peace, so if you can spare any time, you ought to come help me out. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. Should you really... If you're a police officer, you should probably do your job yourself. I mean, God. Uh, 
Okay. What do we have in here? Oh! Is that an eyeball tree? No, it's a statue called Jealous Beast. Very... It's, well, it's alright. I swear there's Edamamai everywhere! Everywhere there is Edamamai. For a second, I thought that we might actually met someone who wasn't a woman. I'm pretty sure that's an older woman. Pretty sure it's not like a man. Pretty sure. Hmm, an unfamiliar face. Is it you? Are you the boy who was to move in today? My name is Saxon. I serve as this town's mayor. It's good to meet you. Well, it won't be immediate. We'll have to issue you an ID card soon enough. Around here, you need an ID card to go to other towns, just in case there's any trouble. Oh, okay. I see you're very strict with your immigration laws. And it's locked. Your immigration and emigration laws. It's important to remember the difference between the two. Um... Oh, this one looks like a place from, uh, from one of the mother games. But it's locked. Typical. I mean, it is typical. You, most people, I think, keep their doors locked. Maybe not in a small, nice little town like this, though. Hello, fountain... Oh! There's a fountain man. Hello, I am... Hintman. The spiritual dream thing. If you are poor at remembering faces and names, I have good news. I have good news. The building right of your house has everyone's information laid bare for you to see. Any resident you have met, their personal information, it will be there. That is all for today's hint. Please, with respect, call for Mr. Hintman. Remember, your hint manners. Okay. Oh, Mir- why, Wait, why do we already know Muriel's name? Oh well. Hmm. What does the master think of me? Loves me, loves me not, loves me. Ah! Wh wh who are you? How long have you been? D d did you s see that? P please don't tell anyone. I beg of you. Ah, er, excuse me. My name is Muriel. It's nice to meet you. Er, I work as a servant at Mr. Saxon's home, so if you need me, you'll find me there. Y you will forget that, won't you? Promise! You must! Okay, Mr. Saxon is the mayor, and it's a man. It, Saxon is. I don't know, SOS, maybe. And this door is shaped like teeth, like a mouth. And it's the church for some reason. Is it also going to have some visceral edamame eyes in it? No, it's a statue. She's standing on an avant-garde platform. Very shiny, I'm sure. Oh, there's an organ. The organ's a beautiful instrument. Are you the local priest? A preacher or a deacon? Who's actually named Dogma? Eh, now who's this? As you can see, I'm praying. If you have any business, save it. I see. A new resident. Introductions, then. My name is Dogma. I am the priest at this church. If you've any interest, even you may enter the faith at any time. God will gladly accept all. I don't know. I, I mean... It's kind of strange that these last couple, we already had their names listed before we talked to them. It's not a very important detail, but I, I feel like it's... It's a little strange that they do that is also... Okay. We're not allowed to go into the forest yet. Although, Russell said that it was because he didn't really need to. We're not going because we don't have an ID. Oh. Oh, I see. SOS question mark is the police station. That's kind of funny. It's this way. Oh, we're just back here again. All right. Let's, uh, let's save. I have a feeling something crazy is about to happen, you know? Okay. Well, let's go see full body pictures of every- Oh, we have balloons for everyone! So there's Muriel. I, I don't really know why we need to know their, um, height, but 
All right. Why this one? Tabasa? Oh, Tabasa was a man. I'm. Just, that's really awkward when you don't recognize people's genders. Yeah, it's uh, the mayor. He's 45. Is Yumi? So that's what she looks like with that hat of hers. Dogma, jealously guarding that cross around his neck. Really, he's a he's very religious, very devout, but in a kind of bitter way. Wait, sister? Who's this? I don't know. We're, we'll meet a sister. Oh, there's Gardenia. Yeah. We. Oh. She's she has a restaurant. Okay. And this is us. And this is Cody. Oh, I bet you the Cody is Dogma's sister. Yeah, yeah, she is. It says so right there. Okay. And finally, what was what's this one? Oh. Oh wait, Kentara has horns and wings? Is Kentara some kind of demon? Also, Kentara's also a boy. There were a lot of boys here that I mistook for cute girls. Instead, they were cute boys. You know, we all make mistakes. Can we go back inside? Yeah, this is, um... Quite a dreamland we've gone into, isn't it? Oh, what's this? Mailbox is empty. Well, I guess we could begin trying to figure out what the password for that mailbox is, for some reason. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, how you doing? And what you need? Yeah, let's, have, let's chat about something. Come to think, Tabasa was telling me he had to go to Dozing Forest. Wonder if he's left already. He's always such a listless kid, huh? Ought to be a mite more energetic, considering he's still young. Considering... Yeah. Tabasa, huh? Where did Tabasa live? I, I know I should remember this. It was like a minute ago. I talk... Uh, good day. Or what is it? Oh, uh, yeah. What kind of guy is Saxon? Mr. Saxon? He's a very kind gentleman. He's also the town's mayor. Yeah, I know. I've, I've talked to everybody. Though he is a bit frail, I always wish I could be a bit more helpful to him. He's a generous man, so he's letting me stay at his home, but I... If I'm not more helpful, I fear I'll be abandoned someday. I see. At the same time she loves him, she's kind of afraid of him. Because she doesn't want to be out of home. Out of a home. We only need some place to live. Let's see. I think this is where Tabasa was. Yeah, there's Tabasa. It's Kentara. Wait, Tabasa? Who the heck was Tabasa? I'll get these names down, just you see. Ah, tis you. What of it? Let's talk about some. In your weird syntax. Hmm? Is something the matter? You seem somehow restless. Have you some worry? Ah, I understand well. Having concluded our introductions, you know not what to do. Mayhap not such a bad thing. If you wish, you may accompany me for tea or whatnot. Yeah, his... he talks in a really weird way. I know they said it's how people used to talk back in the olden days, but I've never heard anyone talk like that anywhere ever. In it, like, even, even in, you know, old books. Old, old books. What about this one? Is this where she was? Yeah, I think this one was Tabasa. I think. Right? Dogma's sister? No, it's Cody! Where's the bus? Yeah, what kind of things do you sell here, Cody? Oh, really? In that case, can you go pick something out directly? We got three items. Homeward Rudies, Edamami, and Safe Tree Branches. It's probably not apparent what they do at a glance. Well, just buy one and find out. Oh, well, unfortunately I don't have any walnuts right now, so I'll have to go. I see this is all towns are very plant-based town, very agrarian. Okay, this is the only place left. Yep, that's that's Tabasa. I should remember. She's the first one we or he's it's he, right? Yeah, it's a he is the first one we met. He's a cool guy, Tabasa is. Hey Russell, you done talking to everybody in town now? 
Hmm? You did that, but now you don't know what else to do? Huh. Well, do you want to come with me to Dozing Forest? See, Gardenia tells me she lost one of her hair ornaments in there. And for some reason, it fell on me to go get it for her. You want to go? It'll be like a walk. Okay. Oh, cool. That'd be helpful. The more, the better when you're looking for something. Let's get going, then. There's some dangerous stuff in the forest, so be careful. Oh. Our party's got... Oh, it's not... It's one of those games where we're all occupying the same tile somehow. Can we look at this? Yeah. Detailed data on the animal's health. It, oh. Boring stuff. Can we read this? Here any time to look after or treat injured animals or anything else. Tabasa. Alright. Tabasa has a crush on Gardenia. On Gardenia. Tabasa has a crush. Tabasa, you... You, you, you love you, you love Gardenia, okay. This is dozing, f what is this, balloon? Hi, hi, balloon. Yeah. That is what it is, good point. Is that one of the animals? It looks like a Beemos. You don't want to mess with a Beemos, man. Is it a Beemos? Oh. This Beemos is having a bad day. Ah, you there. I'm begging you, please give me some words of encouragement. Please. Okay. Um, you can do it. Wah, thank you. Hold on, hold on. Just stay right there. Ah, finally stopped. Thank you very much. I am a would-be incarner. Your words of encouragement, they indeed rang true. Let me thank you. Oh, I'm not sure what this is going to do, but thanks. We are so very, very afraid of the green monster up ahead that we cannot do business now. I believe you can do something about that green monster while you're at it. I believe. Thank you. Okay. Not sure what exactly you are, but I bet you the green monster is is who has the the, the ornament that we that we need to get the gardenia's hair ornament. Wait, what? Ah, yes, it is an RPG, huh? Well, all right. Um, what kind of skills do we have? None. Okay, let's attack the scary monkeys. Uh, now we're on Tabasa. What is with Tabasa doesn't have any skills either. Okay, um, yeah. Oh, Tabasa uses a gun. I thought Tabasa, you know, just <laughs> gathered animals, though. What does he need to do to? Oh, well, we have money now. Also, now I should totally save. This would be a pretty good time to do that. For the purposes of syncing up the game audio with uh, my audio, I'm going to press diary from this menu I'm on now. Okay, we have many ways to go. First though, let's see what's inside the tree. No, oh, another one of these fellas. Hey. Oh, what trouble, what trouble. I'm really at an impasse. What should I do? You there, boy. Would you please help me? Will you hear me out? Russell, I thought he's probably what kind of guy Russell is, but sure, what's wrong, whatever. I'll do, I'll do it. Thank you. You see, we and Carners have been peacefully doing business in the forest, clearing outside, but now an eerie beast has appeared, rendering us unable to do so. Isn't it terrible? So I would like you to do something about that monster. Please, I'll reward you. Okay. I was planning on it anyway, because I'm sure the monster has something to do with what we need to do here. Is it? Oh. No. No, the, 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 neither of these are the monster. But we have a zoo ticket now. I have a feeling this is going to be... Uh, let's attack a monkey. And Tabasa Tal's attack the monkey. The zoo ticket is one weird enemy. Oh, you probably do auto. Annoying monkeys. 
monkeys are so kind of... Oh, let's just attack the zoo ticket again. Zoo tickets have weak spots, huh? Odd. There's a sign that says... Off oh. We're not old enough to go to the bar yet. Let's see what's... Is it the green monster this way? Well, that's not a green monster. I don't even know what these are, hey. Yeah? What's with you, kid? Got some business with me, huh? Sorry, ain't letting you through. Got important deals going on, me, huh? Real hush, hush, dirty. Dangerous deals, me, you know. Beat it before you get hurt. Okay, kids, cats. Oh! This is... This is like the Mother series. It's already his weird, bright graphics, weird characters, and now... Presence. I guess it's like the original Mother, though, because, well, random encounters. I hope this doesn't end up being a game like, say, Okage Shadow King. Which is to say, very interesting, but drawn in a way that's nice looking, but the combat system is just complete boring slog, total chore, absolutely exhausting, contributes nothing, makes the whole thing unbearable. This probably won't be like that. This will probably be a lot more interesting. I have hope. We have to have hope in life sometimes. What? What's this? Hey, there it is. The ornament Gardenia lost. This is probably it, right? Sheesh, can't believe her. Making men do all the work. Even if it's us we're talking about. Are you implying we're not men? Uh-oh, music stopped. Anyway, glad we found it. Now to bring it back to Gardenia. Yeah. Oh! There's the green monster. Witnessing one? What the heck is that? I didn't know there was something like this in the forest. I... I don't know what's going on. But be careful, Russell, it's coming! Please. I mean... Oh man, we're already... Russell's already kinda low on... on health. Uh, what, what kind of things do we have? Do we have a trial pill? Or just 25? Uh, good medicine? Oh! Good medicine is like the phoenix down, alright. Well, that's a strange-looking monster. It's like a thing. Uh, let's attack the witnessing one. Yeah, everyone, attack this, attack it. We don't have any skills worth anything. Well, it kind of looks like a stack of pea pods with a hand attached. Huh? You know, we did do them, do ya? Makes sense if you witnessed it. Good job, Tabasa. Those are some good reflexes. If we- if Russell gets hit again, okay, then we're gonna use our healing item. I forget what it was already. Witnessing one took the form of a monkey who's really having fun giggling like a baby. Okay. Uh... Attack the monkey. It's just a monkey now. Well, it's probably not just a monkey, it'll probably be a unique monkey. Oh, it's giggling lower defense! That also reminds me of, uh, Mother Series. Mother Series. Oh, that's it. The trial pill, huh? Frankly, I feel like the trial pill is playing into the drug theme of the whole... This whole game is probably gonna have. Did we beat it? As I came in, the zookeeper was feeding the monkeys. The monkeys were screeching loudly. I had a vision of Dad. He should just die. <coughs> Russell? You, uh, you okay there, Russell? Yeah, we don't have any skills. I guess we're just gonna have to keep wailing away at it. Or shooting it with a gun, as the case may be. Yeah, this is attack. If he shoots it for six damage, we hit it for eight damage. How is being hit with, like, a stick hurting it more than shooting it is? Then I talked with the zookeeper a little. 
The zookeeper was really nice and secretly let me into his room. I felt like this was what having a big brother would be like. When I thought that, I got kind of sad and hit the back of the zookeeper's head. He was squatting in front of a cage, so it was easy to hit him in the head. Yeah, I'm a little nervous too, Russell. Russell, what's up? You okay? You can think about stuff later. This guy's pretty weak now. Just a little further to go. Should I have done some more level grinding? Tabasa! I really wish I could I could give you an item that would heal you, but I already used my one healing item. But when you're knocked out though, I can I can get you back up. Unless this is the last Yes! That was close. Oh, we learned Squat, the most powerful attack of all. Man, that was rough. Russell, you hurt? But just what was that thing? Seemed kind of sad, huh? Or maybe that's just me. Oh, right, I can't forget what we were here for. Let's get this to Gardenia, quick. Okay. What's that eye? What? We don't have time for this now! Or it's not that we don't have time, it's we don't have enough health. You are within your own dream. If you wish to return, you may. If you do not, goodbye. Yeah. Please do. Thank you. I'll go... I know that... That the... Bemos has a reward for me because we defeated the green monster, okay? But before that, I, I wanted to be back here so I could be sure I wouldn't die. In fact, in fact, we can go buy some healing items now. And that's why I was so defenseless because I was in a JRPG with no healing items. All right, where's the, here, here's uh, Corey's place, right? Yeah, right. R right. Where is she? Where, where, where is she? Um, well, never mind. Can't fault a guy for trying. You have anything to say, Yumi? Hey, how to go in the forest? Pretty thrilling, eh? Thrill's one thing, but yesterday there was some dubious monster sighted here in town. Came right up to my patrol area. Must be one audacious fella. Better give it some hospitality. Or I guess hospitality was sarcastic. Like, better give it some hospitality. But really, we're gonna hurt it a lot. You see, you'd think the building with the mouth on it would not be the church, but it would be the restaurant. But no, the restaurant's shaped like a bean. Though admittedly, I wouldn't expect a church to be shaped like a bean either. Do I really want to risk going and trying to get that item? No, no. No, I do, I do. After we save. Okay, Tabasa. I know that we need to go get go go see Gardenia quickly, but this will just be this will just be like a minute. God, we better get something good for all this. I say for all this as if I've done a lot here. You go through your boxes? No, that'd be rude anyway. And I see you also have those lamps and this strange eye pattern that let us know we were in a dream. Hello, kind boy. So you kept your promise. Now that the monster is gone, my siblings can once again do business. Thank you. And I will also keep my side of the promise. Please, take this. Doubt? Okay. I wonder how much the power of doubt can protect your mind. Well, so long. So, Russell did some bad stuff, like he killed a zookeeper, or at least hit him in the back of the head. And now he's just kind of trying to escape that reality? But he's not trying to escape it, he's already been put into some kind of institution. So... He's well aware. It's the institution that's trying to make him forget all that. Whatever, let's go see Gardenia. 
Are they all representations of different aspects of Russell's psyche, or has the drug actually transported him into a dream world that may actually be real like in Fran Bo? Maybe. Here, Gardenia, the ornament you were fretting about losing. It's the right one, right? Wow! Yes, yes, this is it! Thank you, both of you! I'll never lose it again! <laughs> yeah, please. Me and Russell had a pretty bad time thanks to that thing. Hmm? Really? But I'm glad you're safe. Thank you too, Russell. Oh, I know. Here you go. It's your reward. A healthy carrot salad. The best kind of carrot salad. <laughs> it... D doesn't it look delicious? It's made from a healthy carrot freshly picked from the field outside. I'll be careful not to lose anything else, but I'll count on you if anything comes up. Ugh. Phew. That was more time-consuming than I expected. Sorry you got involved, Russell. Ended up really helping me, though. Thanks. All right, I'm going home. Don't hesitate to call me if there's anything you need help with, too. See ya, Tabasa. You're pretty badly hurt, so get some rest. Once a person has joined your party once, even when the segment ends and they leave, they can be put back in the party. By talking to an orange balloon, you can re-add people as helper members. Always remember to bring some helpers along. Note that any helper members will be automatically removed from the party when you return to town. Um... Okay, can we look at a picture? Painting of flowers with bright colors. What about a table? Can't look at her avant-garde mushroom-shaped table. What about the mirror? We have no reflection. Russell is a vampire. Thanks for finding the ornament. I'll be extra careful not to lose it. You two look like you really were exhausted, though. Did I really lose it that far in? Huh? A weird monster? Hmm, I wonder. I've never seen anything like that. Anyway, sorry. I didn't know any of that happened. I'd better apologize to Tabasa, too, later. See? She, she's nice. Okay. Now what are we gonna, gonna do? Now, now, what's next? Well, Tabasa's back with the animals who are having sex. You know, one of those things that animals do. Up there with eating. That's another thing animals do. Hmm. Any hot takes, Yumi? Hey. I, oh, no. She, she's nothing new, new to say. Okay, well, okay. I, I'll, I'll, I'll read. Mayor Saxon! Okay, listen, Mayor. What? Oh, I think I just passed the Mayor. There's a mon there are monsters in the forest. Oh, wait, there's Muriel! Where's the Mayor? Good day, Russell. Please, come right in. Do you wish to see Mr. Saxon? Er, but... Mr. Saxon just left for the medicine shop, actually. I'm sorry. The Master seems to get on well with Dr. Cantera, you see. He often goes to chat with him. In the meantime, I do cleaning and cooking while I wait for him to come home. Well... I'm afraid that... Well, I don't know what kind of guy he is. I don't know whether he appreciates that or whether... What you're doing is, I mean, you, you seem pretty subservient to him. Which makes sense because you're a servant, but I can't help but detect some kind of sexist undertones here. Alright. Mr. Saxon? Devilman? How you doing? You appear quite fatigued. You mustn't overdo it. So then, what do you need? Uh, yeah, show me medicines. Surely, take a careful look. Surely is just such a weird word there. He should say certainly or something. Not surely. Surely so weird. Okay. Let's so we got capsules. Covers about 20 oh MP, huh? For when for all those times we're going to be squatting in battle. Uh, let's see. Well, it will do. We'll buy How many trial pills? 11. No, that's, that's we only have so many walnuts here. We'll buy we'll buy six of them. I think that's plenty. And, uh, uh, buy one more of these. All right. 
Do not forget that having medicine is no excuse to push oneself. Well, so long. Very philosophical, Cantera. But Mr. Saxon, what, what are you, you here to ask about if you don't mind me being so nosy? Oh, it's you. Fancy that we'd meet here. Having health issues, perhaps? Myself, I'm here for medicine. I'm not as strong-bodied as I may appear. Thus I chat with Dr. Cantera while I'm at it. Why, as of late, it's become something to anticipate. He's young, yet highly knowledgeable. You ought to talk with him, too. You should learn much. Um, all right. Yeah, let's just chat, Cantera. Why is the speech bub bubble on box on the bottom now? Doesn't matter. Let's chat. Saxon is my tea-drinking friend. We discuss this and that of our daily lives over sweets. You're free to visit any time yourself. I'll have Manju prepared for you. Our conversations are long, note. Once you sit down, you won't be going for two hours at least. Oh, <laughs> I think he means that he we will be going for over two hours. Also, it's kind of strange. Russell is named Russell, so I assume he's like an American or a British person or something. But in his dream world, people eat manju? I don't know, maybe he was into Japanese pastries. Uh, well, so far, nothing else really happened. Maybe Tabasa? Wanna talk or something? Maybe? Could be. How you doing, Tabasa? Yo, Russell. Thanks for the help earlier. So, what's up? Yeah, that. What was that? Kinda seemed like it was staring at you a bunch. Huh? Was it saying stuff? I didn't hear anything. Come on now. Don't make creepy jokes. I'm no good with that stuff. He can't be too bad of a guy, Russell. I mean, look how pretty this place is. You can't be too bad of a guy. Uh... I mean, I don't really know what else we have to do here. Unless... Oh, there's Cory or Cody. Cody. Oh, Russell. Need something at the church? I'm helping out Dogma. Did I mention we were siblings? Boy, cleaning this place is really annoying. I doubt my brother's sanity to do... I doubt my brother's sanity to do this every single day. Well, I mean, it's probably not that dirty. Hmm, it's you. Need something with me? I neglected to mention, but Cody is my sister. Thus, she comes to help clean the church on occasion. She's, well, a bit touchy, perhaps, but hardly a bad person. Don't dislike her for it, please. Oh, well, since he said please. I suppose I have nothing to do but plow further into the forest, then. Right? Right. Catnip's the good stuff. Oh. Ah! Well, what was that? Stop your staring! No ID card, unfamiliar mug, and overall suspicious. No way you're getting through, nya! Now beat it! Ah, hey, there's like a Japanese-style gate back there. Manju, and now those gates? Oh, I get it. Russell was a weeboo. Is the day over? Do I, like, report back here? Kind of a chill running down my spine. Should I go inside? I guess. Oh. Oh. Well, we have this thing on the floor. It looks like an envelope, maybe. And a book. A familiar diary. Should I open it? Yeah. You can tell me to rehabilitate, but I don't really know what I should be doing in this dream. I don't have that guilt the adults are talking about in the first place, so not even this dream will blame me. Everyone in this dream is kind, and for now, it's just enjoyable. What am I supposedly atoning for in such happiness? I'll have this dream again. That's the happiest thing for me now, and thinking about what'll happen tomorrow makes me feel excited. With only feelings like that, there's no chance I'll be rehabilitated. So I think the ex experiment is pointless. 
Once they see I'm no good as a subject, of course I'm just going to die. But I don't really care. I get it. We're we're an experimental test subject for this, and we're some kind of sociopath who doesn't regret anything we did, or alternatively, who maybe had good reasons for doing the things we did, although that little zookeeper story makes it sound like that isn't the case. And we're going to go day through day through these dream worlds, and maybe eventually it will turn into an exploration of Russell's character. A piece of paper with a drawing of a monkey. Read it. Dad's yelling was annoying, so I decided to go to the zoo today. I got the entry fee for Mom's purse. As I came in, the zookeeper was feeding the monkeys. The monkeys were screeching loudly. I had a vision of Dad. He should just die. Then I talked with the zookeeper a little. The zookeeper was really nice and secretly let me into his room. I felt like this was what having a big brother would be like. When I thought of that, I got kind of sad and hit the back of the zookeeper's head. He was squatting in front of a cage, so it was easy to hit him in the head. Why wouldn't he be my big brother? I was sad. Annoying monkeys. Shut up. Annoying monkeys. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? It's kind of strange he wrote all that out, but... I see. Annoying monkeys and all those other phrases were incorporated from his... from whatever happened to him before this. Well, Russell, uh, let's get out of here. Ah! Hey, Russell, what'd I do to you? I didn't do anything, right? So why did you do that? You thought no one was watching, but... They were watching. Good morning, deranged maniac. How was your happy dream? Now, in the happy dream, your experiences and the people you've met in your life appear in a variety of forms. In other words, what you see in your dream is all a fabrication of your own mind. So we take no responsibility for any potential harshness. You reap what you sow. This is a good opportunity for you to get a new look at your foolish, twisted ways character, personality, etc. Please do your best and suffer. That's all for now. So, let's happy dream. No, let's get out of here. I see. Wait, is that a TV or that she's appearing on or is it like a window? I'll have to check on that later. It's pretty hardcore to inject yourself with a syringe like that. I mean, I know heroin addicts do it and people with diabetes and stuff, but that's hardcore, man. I can barely... I'm only able to get shots because I can look away. What choice do you have, Russell? Salads, okay. What's a doubt bracelet gonna do though? I don't know. Anyway, let's. Oh, I get it. The enemies are like the horrible reality attacking him, and his defensive items are gonna be things that let him deny reality. <laughs> 